Hello friends, welcome back. Today's video is a continuation of my decluttering projects that I started in my last video. I cleaned underneath my sink and I also decluttered and organized my fridge because it needed it really badly. So I felt motivated enough to get into the pantry laundry area of my home. And this is a combo area because on one side is my laundry area and then on the opposite side is my pantry. So it is an area that is multifunctional it gets a lot of traffic because this is how we come in and out of our house so I'm trying to come up with ways to make it work and um, just give me a little more space I did put all of my appliances my larger appliances on this side um, and this is a built-in pantry my husband and I had this built before we left this house about 10 years ago so I'm going to be moving these bulkier items to the other side and that is my washroom side and I wanted to put them on the top shelf just because that top shelf is a little too high for me to reach. I don't want to store anything up there that I'm not going to be able to use and the appliances are something that I don't use often so I figured they would be good up there and then that would free up some space on the other side in the pantry area so that I can put the items that we purchase in bulk. We do like to shop at Sam's and Costco and so I can store them in there because I really don't have room on the floor. Um, it is a passage area so I can't really put anything on the floor for storage and I just figured that that would be best. As you can see I pulled out a bean smasher. I was standing on a stool and even then I could not reach up to that top shelf and so that is why I don't want to put anything up there that I would have to reach for on a regular basis. So um, emptying this out actually really tired me out and I'm not sure if it was because the area was small and confined and I felt a little claustrophobic claustrophobic and then there's just a ton of doors and at any given time I need one of them closed one of them opened um, there's the back door the security door all the cabinets there's just a lot of doors the plan in the future is to remove the door between the kitchen and the laundry room and I'd love to make this into a butler's pantry I'm still working on that one with my husband but um, I feel like a butler's pantry would give me a little more counter space I don't know and it's just something that I really want and I like so um, that's the plan with that with the washer and dryer we just purchased a new washer and dryer and I chose front loaders and there was a reason for that I wanted to be able to use a space on top of a front loader as a counter space as an extra space where we can either use it as a counter use it as a workspace just more space so luckily my husband went along with my idea and he'll be building me um, some type of counter I'm honestly not sure if I want a wood one or if I just want to get one made that's going to match my counters in my kitchen and I honestly think that's what I'm leading towards so there's gonna be a lot of changes coming up but for now I'm just working with what I have and then anything that I purchase um, I'm putting a lot of thought into it because I want to make the small space work think that I'm being that selfish right now You said yourself you'd be breaking your vow I can understand you're tired of Many of you feel like the end of the year is just so busy and you just feel so unproductive. <laughs> I always have so much going on because Mikey's birthday is in September my husband's is in October, mine is in November, and Ileana's is in December. Mix all the holidays in and everything going on in just regular life. It is absolutely crazy. Um, are you done Christmas shopping? I did a lot of online shopping. I just find it to be a lot easier and I don't have to be out there braving the crowds. <laughs> There's a lot of people shopping. My husband and I checked out the outlet mall um, just a couple of days ago and did a little evening date night and did some shopping for the kids. But I really do enjoy shopping online and I just cannot wait for the kids to open their gifts. I really try hard to buy gifts that are intentional and something that they can use. My kids do not like making Christmas lists. <laughs> well, Santa asked them for their list several times and they get a little stressed out because they don't know what they want. Um, fortunately enough, they have everything that they need in their lives 
and so it's hard for them to come up with lists. So uh, finally we got a little something out of them and then I just try and think about their personalities, um, things that they like, things that I notice, and I get them gifts based upon that. But uh, one of the first gifts that was under my tree, and I mentioned this in one of my recent videos, was their very own dossier perfume and cologne. Wanted to talk to you about this because I've noticed over on Instagram that they're just having some really amazing sales. I saw that their products are on sale for 40% off and their product only cost $39. There were some bottles as low as $17.50 and I think that is a steal. So if you are somebody who is still in need of a gift for somebody, um, definitely run over to Dossier. Um, on the website it mentioned if you order today, it could still be at your doorstep in time for Christmas. This month I tested out two new scents. The first one is Ambery Saffron. This smells amazing. It is a 1.7 flow ounce bottle, so they are really large bottles. Also tested one out called Musky Gayak, and this one is a very heavy musk scent. Their packaging is beautiful, as I mentioned in my last video. You can wrap it or you can leave it as is. Another thing that you can do with it is make it a stocking stuffer. It is a perfect stocking stuffer. I am going to go ahead and link Dossier's website down below. Make sure to check them out as soon as possible. That way you get your gift in time for Christmas. To clean my surfaces, I'm going to be using Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface cleaner. I bought this at Sam's the other day and I don't know, it was kind of like a treat to myself and I picked the acorn spice scent. There were a couple of other scents available, um, snowflake, peppermint. I really wish I would have picked up the peppermint, but um, I didn't want to smell the the scent patch on the packaging too much because it's cold and flu season and we've been there done that <laughs> so I just didn't want to go there so I picked up the acorn spice what I'm trying to do here is pick up some scent beads that were dropped on the shelving and I'm trying not to drop those on the floor because my dogs eat everything and I just did not want them to eat these Look scent beads Losing track of space and time I don't want to go home looking for a reason To stay here all night I wonder, do you feel it too? Magic between me and you The way that you make me feel You wonder if I feel the same The blood's rushing through your veins And then when I say your name Bet I'm there I noticed that I have a variety of laundry detergents <laughs> and I did not know that before. Um, I don't know how that happened. I guess the fact that it wasn't organized and we didn't know what we had caused us just to buy more and more. So now I have an entire selection that I can choose from, um, but it's organized and I know what I have now. <laughs> Por ti he vivido hoy el mundo la mitad de mi corazón Baby, tú y yo queriéndonos, sintiéndonos Hazme el amor, decir que tanto hice tenerme Hazme el amor, pa' que matemos la curiosidad Tú sabes mejor que esos besos son los que han suelto Yeah. 
next thing that I'm going to do and the last thing that I'm going to do is label my shoe boxes that I put into my cabinet. Those shoe boxes have been with me for about a year now and they are still organized. They went through my move with me and now I'm gonna place them here in the cabinet just because I can't put them under the sink. I made an under the sink organization video about a year ago and I'll go ahead and link that down below and that is one of my most viewed organization videos and I used shoe boxes and because of that organization project, I completely believe in the power of shoe boxes for organization and this is the proof right here. The only thing that I'm doing is labeling them but they have stayed completely organized for an entire year. Um, I'm not going to put them under my sink because obviously I don't have a lot of room in my sink but they fit perfectly here. They're organized and labeled now. So let's go ahead and get into the before and afters. Um, I really do hope that you all got some motivation from this. Start small and then you'll move into bigger projects as you move along. And so now I'm just about ready to tackle my pantry. So um, hopefully that'll come soon. I don't think it'll come before the end of the year, but maybe that's where I'll start my year off. So I really hope that you all have an amazing day. Take care, stay safe, and I am sending you a hug if you need one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.